I have always said that the only thing missing from this lifestyle is to have someone to share it with. And now that is actually happening. Six months ago I started talking to this girl on Instagram. Through texts and very long and expensive phone calls I got to know this amazing person. I fell in love with this girl before even meeting her in person. She jumped on a 14 hour train ride from Denmark to go on our first date. It has now been six months since that first date and now she's actually moving into the cabin. I just need to drive down to Denmark and pick her and her stuff up. Due to Corona, I actually need a specific document to get into the country. And the document says that I have a girlfriend and what her name is and her address and everything. It's just really weird for me that I have to have a document that proves that I have a girlfriend. And yeah, and we need a document for her to get out of the country as well. It's just a really weird scenario to be in. I never thought I would be here. Yeah, it makes you like appreciate the normal life we had before, I guess. And I really hope this is over soon. I'm getting closer and closer to the border each minute and I'm getting way more nervous than I expected to be. I have all the documents and I have the passport and everything ready, but Still, you never know. So, cross your fingers. What, what is it? Uh, passport? Yeah, right the here. Red one there. Swedish. Yeah, You're going to do... You live in Copenhagen? Or? No, my girlfriend does. You're visiting your girlfriend? Yeah, I have paper for that as well if you want to see that. No, it's okay. Okay? It's okay. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> we are finally in. My god, I'm shaking actually, it's so weird. <sighs> okay, now it's like a it's one and a half hours drive to, to Christina's house. Oh my god. I'm in Denmark! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! It worked! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. After not seeing each other for a few weeks, you can easily say that we were a bit relieved to be together again. <laughs> After like 21 hours of driving, I'm <laughs> finally here. I'm at her summer house and we're gonna start off by just watching the sunset and then I guess fall asleep and then the next day we're going to explore the, the Danish countryside. She's leaving her home country, but thanks to our flexible jobs, we have the luxury of actually going back here and stay for months at a time if we want to. A few weeks ago, I told my friend Oscar that I've met someone and that she's moving into the cabin. I explained that I've never thought I would actually find someone that would want to live in the cabin. 
he just paused for a second and said, Kalle, no one believed that. Well, I guess fate had other plans. For some reason I thought I would find love in the north of Sweden, close to where I live, but of course not. I had to find someone 14 hours south of the cabin. Even though she is competition, Tuss has accepted Christina into the pack and we are now our own little family. Where are we going now? We're picking up my stuff and then we go to Sweden! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I thought it was in trailer.
looks so good. Oh my god, Hattie. That is so pretty. Isn't it? Oh, it's so pretty.